and welcome to the tea of the day. Today, I have one from Herbaceous Blends. And it's got nettle, lemongrass, and mint in it. They call it earthy mint. Earthy. I like the tin, first of all. I have this copper looking tin that's really cute. And uh, I'll give you a quick look here. You see that? That's some good loose leaf right there. I, I like it when it stays slightly bigger and they don't crush it up too much because then it just makes me feel like I'm getting the dust and fannings all over again, which is not nice. So this is nice. It smells pretty good too. Oh yeah, let's give it a shot. Hmm, I hear the bells. The church is going next door. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Trying to formulate an opinion here because uh, I, I think I would want to uh, actually do this one a little bit longer next time or something because I was hoping, I guess, for a little bit more lemongrass. I wanted to get a little bit more of that feel, this, this, so it's just my expectation. But overall, it's it's t it's totally fine. What I am actually getting is just a complete blend between the three, so none of them stand out as a primary. So I'm not like going like, oh, it's definitely the mint, oh, it's definitely the nettle. Um, the lemongrass kind of is actually taking the back seat though to the mint and the nettle overall, and if I really focus on it, I can definitely feel the, uh, the flavor of the mint a little bit more. Nettle tends to do that anyways, where it tends to fall m more to the background and just be a nice, strong background flavor that helps to accentuate the depth of the tea. Um, so in that sense, um, this is totally to be expected and what I'm getting with this. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I would also maybe want a little bit of honey in this one, just because the flavor overall by itself uh, isn't terribly exciting. It's good, and it's definitely worth drinking just as it is. I wouldn't have a problem with that, and somebody else would too, but I'm just saying to give it a little extra brightness, I wouldn't mind a little bit of honey. But the nice thing about this, and I don't know, I can't think I've talked about this much on the herbal teas before, is that they're naturally caffeine-free, which is awesome. And uh, it, it's something to pay attention to because you can get confused so easy with the teas thinking they are caffeine free, which some of them aren't. Because like a green tea, which you think, oh, that's just an herbal tea. Well, no, green tea can have caffeine in it just the same. So be careful if you're thinking you've got a caffeine free tea when you may actually have some in there. So if you have like a black or a green tea, red tea tends to be more naturally caffeine free than, than the black and the uh, green teas. So they, that's something to just be, pay attention to with the four majors, the white, black, red, and green. They aren't necessarily all caffeine free. So you just have to know what you're drinking as compared to the herbs themselves with the, these Lemiaceae herbs with the, the, the mint, the basil, all those other guys um, in that family are generally naturally caffeine free as is the lemon balm and as is the nettle, I believe. Oh, so yeah, good refreshing tea. It's good for a lot of things. Obviously the mint's good for bad breath. Um, it's good for things like fever and coughs, um, stress, nausea. Um, the nettle is good for an anti-inflammatory and also good for digestive health, as is the lemongrass. And lemongrass is also good for the throat as well. So overall, I mean, there's a wide, you know, any tea, <laughs> I can say, has a wide variety of great benefits like this. But uh, yeah, I love, this is a very nice blend. Uh, thank you very much, Herbaceous Blends. You guys rock.